Let's start. Today we will see how to implement the multi time frame directional momentum index in the TradingView Pine script. This is an indicator function with a name, multi time frame directional momentum index. First, we take three user inputs one is the length of the directional index, and the other one is the smoothness of the ADX. And we also have the higher time frame input. The default value is set to weekly. Then we call the DMI which is a directional momentum index function. Where we pass our user inputs. This function returns three values, ADX, plus directional index, and minus directional index. Then we calculate the higher time frame data using the security function. The first argument is the current script name. The second argument is the higher time frame. The third argument is the data to be retrieved from the higher time frame. We are going to retrieve the plus directional index, minus directional index, and the ADX values. The bracket 1 written in front of these values avoids the indicator repainting issue. We have discussed the indicator repainting issue in a separate tutorial, the link is given in the description. And the final arguments handle the gaps and the bar merge. And finally, we plot these three outputs. Let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see, the white line is the ADX. The green line is the plus directional momentum index. And the red line is the minus directional momentum index. The higher time frame is weekly, and right now we are on the daily time frame. So we are seeing the weekly DMI from the daily time frame. So that's it. That's how you can implement the higher time frame directional momentum index in the TradingView Pine script.